All right. It looks like I'm doing Richard Miller. <laughs> I wanted to save him because he's the creeper and I love him. But, all right. Much love. Much love. Let's do. Don't do right like that. Conspiracy log. Entry, um, one. I have tracked Target to the so-called detention room. Uh, is he talking about me? Target is ruggedly, ruggedly handsome and in a secret agent kind of way. He is. Also blonde, tall, and most likely human. Oh, someone else then. Uh, hey, Richard? Who told you? Uh, you did. At roll call. Hmm, okay. Hang on, I don't have a file on you, new kid. It's Darren, actually. Ah, thanks. Perfect, Darren. This will just take a second. What are you writing down? Your vitals. For future cross-referencing to figure out where you fit into the grand conspiracy of world domination. Oh. Um, but isn't that crazy? Huh? Ha! Huh. That's what you'd want me to think. Kind of is, yeah. Yeah. Parentheses, inter our internal monologue, obviously. All right, wait for detention to end. We're just kind of... I'm not doing all the extra stuff. We've, I've played through all the the introductions to all the characters before. If you'd like to go to my YouTube channel, check out all the playthroughs thus far. There's a really one hour and like... One and a half to one hour and 40 minute long first run, which has everybody's exposition before I hooked up with Lolo. But anyway. Yeah, I just want to get out of here. Or they're probably all bananas after all. Nice thing is, I don't think I have any characters left that can break headphones. So you're welcome. Joining a club and showing school spirit to reduce my detention sentence. I wonder if there's any other students from detention that are taking up the offer. Alright, let's go talk to Richard. I want to see what club he's got. Culinary club? I'm down, but... Culinary club, huh? I could learn to make cakes whenever I wanted. No one is at the booth, though. <laughs> yes! This, this shit! This shit right here is why I love Richard Miller. Maybe they've got a brochure I could take. Oh. Darren! Is that... Think about joining the culinary club. That's great, hey? So I don't tell you for small talk. Here's, here's the pitch. You should join the culinary club. Bam! Oh, to hang out and learn recipes and stuff? That's one way to put it. Mostly I want to observe you until I can work on a complete dossier on your strength and weaknesses in case you're an end boss in a big conspiracy. Um, totally. It's just, at least he's straightforward. Note to self, Richard Miller is a little strange. Then again, at Namco, hi! I guess that means he fits right in. Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? Okay, so Richard's first impression was... Uh, well, it was certainly an impression. But the culinary club sounds like it'd be a fun way to reduce my detention. Maybe we'll get to make cakes. Eh. Probably start us on something similar like cookies. But that's okay, too. Wow, there's so much food. It's like a banquet. Is it like that in here every day? Yeah, it's in here. It's like that all the time. Because they didn't bother to, you know, have a kitchen room. Re uh, I'm looking at the stuff on the back wall. Reading. Nice. Uh, reading chapter 7, 8, 9, and 12. B on time. History of circles. Paper writing. Water. Um, and a small city. I imagine where that's where Namco High is located. And it is apparently 5 p.m. Anyway. And now for my finale. Did Richard make all that food? Ta da! He. He threw all of it in the trash? What's going on here? Ah, oh, Darren, glad you could make it. You seem awfully busy. I'll come by later, okay? 
God, that was such a molest smile. I love it. No, no, this is a great opportunity to discern your strengths and weaknesses for my dossiers. Well, right now, my weakness is for cake. Cake, you say? Excellent timing. You can start on dessert while I complete the main course. You want me to bake a cake on my first day? Oh, oh I'm sorry, Darren. Sometimes I even for, for uh, sometimes I forget everyone else isn't up to my speed. So Richard Miller's a creeper and a cook. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Naked Bun without glasses. Right here, this guy, this guy. If only I could get those sweet chops. Even so, you can make us some delicious cupcakes instead. Are those easier because they're smaller? No. Furthermore, that's an absurd conclusion to come to. You're really new to this cooking stuff, aren't you? Technically, this is baking. It's a little different. Hey, you don't have to make fun of me for it. Everyone has to learn sometime, you know. Ah, too true. There's a box of cupcake mix oh, somewhere over there. Mix? This class sucks. This club sucks. Whatever. Got it. That'll get you started. Just follow the directions. It's completely idiot-proof, so you'll do fine. That- Hey! Oh no, you're not an idiot. Just saying, you've got nothing to worry about, because even an idiot, which you are not, couldn't screw it up. Okay, then. Uh-oh. But what if I do screw it up? I'll think I'm an idiot. Hmm, maybe I'll say the instructions were misprinted. Yeah, that's the ticket. Hold up, though. Maybe I, first I should try to make the dry things before I worry about a cover story. Okay, first up, add some stuff to other stuff. That's easy enough. Looks like you're doing pretty good so far, Darren. Yep, nothing's on fire. Always a good sign in the kitchen. Oh, hand me that, will you? Okay. Uh, which is that? There's like a dozen utensils and pots and pans and stuff over here. The spatula? No, but I have the time correct you, to correct you. Wouldn't it have just taken... Wouldn't it have taken just as long to say that as to correct me? Oh, okay, here. Now I must prepare the duck cone feet with nothing but a spatula and a piece of string. It's daring. Possibly never so much as attempted before. But that's what we've got, and there's no time to change course now. I don't know anything about how to cook stuff other than what this box of cupcake mix is telling me, but you might want to use some cookware. And some heat, like... From an oven? No time! I think I'd make the time if it was me. There's no time to make time. Besides, I'm making five other dishes at the same time. What? No one can cook at those speeds. At least I think you can. Ordinarily, no. But everything is connected, Darren. Literally, or figuratively, or directly, or indirectly, or sympathetically, or spatially. But always chronologically. Dance. Uh, okay then. I guess the question of whether or not the fact everything must exist in time means, all, means that everything is also connected through the medium of time is beyond the scope of this conversation. I think I hurt myself thinking about that. But it basically sounds right. Therefore, with precision timing, anything is possible. I'm not sure that conclusion follows from your premise. That is a bit of a logical disconnect. Wow, I sound like a college professor. Maybe it does, and maybe it doesn't. But you can't argue with these results. What the? How did he cook a whole meal right in front of me without an oven while we were talking? Oh, speaking of which, I need to put my cupcakes in the oven. Like so. Wow, Richard. Your duck, whatever it smells, or whatever it was, smells delicious too. Does it? How irrelevant. Hmm? But good smelling food is great. It makes you anticipate getting to eat, eat it, and that makes it taste that much better when you do. That's a weird way to look at it, Darren. Ah! I've wasted precious seconds talking about food. What's he talking about? Why do you put that duck thing in the trash? Hey, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm making room for the next dish. It's not like we have time to sit around enjoying the food. I need to look up what this guy is from. Much less eating it. Uh, then what's the point of making it? Why to get the best time, of course. Probably a racing game. Best time? 
What does that even mean? It's not like you can bake a cake faster than the time it takes you to bake that cake. I sure am thinking about cake a lot. Dang it, why do you have to throw away all that food? Now I'm hungry. And I st and still think about food and cakes. Yeah. If you throw away all the food you make, then what do you eat? Why, fast food, of course. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, I should have seen that one coming from a mile away. But drive through only, know when it's time to park, walk inside, wait in line, order, wait for it, walk to a table, sit down, eat, and then throw away the trash and walk all the way back to the car and then leave. That'd be crazy. No, you do the drive through. And the food can only be eaten while driving to the wherever it is you're going, because you and you can only drive at the maximum speed, because what's the point of going any slower unless you unless you're on your way to going as fast as you possibly can? Isn't that dangerous? Excuse me. Excuse me again. Hey, not with my reflexes. What about the food, though? Fast food's not as bad for us with fast metabolism. We can eat anything, really. Who's stopping us? That is an interesting point. But, no, I mean, driving and eating at the same time? Oh, that. Yeah, it's big time dangerous. But that's what continues are for. I feel like that can't be the right answer. And yet I don't... Have an argument against it. Ding! <clears throat> Ack, what's that mean? Did I do it wrong? That's the oven. Your cupcakes are done. Perfectly timed, Abbott, after my duck on feet was finished. Anyway, time to throw them in the trash. Hey, wait! I didn't make those to not have one. Man, I want some kind of cake before I leave here. I'll go nuts. Anyway, they're not done. They need icing. A fair point. But do it quickly. There, that's the first one done. And into the trash it goes. Wait! Ah! Make it fast, I can't wait for long. Try eating that one. I just told you there isn't time for that sort of thing. But look at it. It's bite-sized. If it helps, just think of it as throwing into the trash can of your own organs. Think about a lot of other things that way. Whoa, it does help. Oh. Uh-oh, his face is all, uh, weird. He said it was idiot-proof, though. Come on. This is... Come on, come on, come on. It's like... There's a happiness in my mouth. Uh, happiness? Do you mean, like, a flavor? So, food can have flavor. Huh, I didn't know that was possible. And I didn't know it was possible to not to know that. Yeah, pretty much all food has a flavor, Richard. Not true. I eat all kinds of fast food. And when you're lucky, there's no real taste at all. Probably swallows it whole because chewing would take too long. Well, yeah, that stuff's not the best tasting or good for you in any way. Why am I still waiting for the second cupcake? Darn it, I want some of these too. Blah, blah, another day, joined a club, or so so forth. Back to our man. Darren. Glad you're here. Where else would I be? It's detention. It's not like I've got a choice. Hi, Richard. You seem eating. It's these cupcakes. They've got flavor. Oh, dear. What have I done? Anyway, I need your help. Oh, so what? I introduce you to cupcakes, and that's the end of the dossier stuff? Ha! No, you'll be getting steak out of too. Uh, staked out. Uh, on. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on you. No one is above suspicion. I even track my own movements, just in case I can't be trusted either. Uh, okay. How would that work, though? We're done. You okay, Richard? Never better. I've got a lead. It could be the final piece of the pie at the heart of this puzzle. Okay. End detention. Next, please.
Oh, the round of perfect attendance. Splendid. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Richard Miller. Darren, I have it all sorted. It's a big fish. I'll need your help tracking him down. Literally an actual fish? Not this time, no. The point is, you're the only person I almost trust. Absolutely join Richard on his crackdown. Me? Really? Wow. Well, you're new. And I did say, almost. I knew you'd come. What if I didn't? That I'd have known that instead. That's a little convenient. It's very convenient. So, what's this stakeout stuff? We don't have much time before detention is up. Detention? Oh, no, no, no. No? No, no. Oh. We'll have to skip school to track this target and get to the bottom of the big conspiracy. S skip? I, I thought we were just going to watch a guy and take some notes. We are. Away from school grounds, though. Jeez. This must be a pretty big conspiracy, then. Probably. I have no idea. But it's big. Super big, maybe. I can't believe we're risking a black mark on our permanent records for a conspiracy that might not be big. Pro tip. Your permanent record isn't actually permanent. If it's even real? Our target today is ordinary student uh, Alfonso Al B. Tross. He's always meeting sinister characters in this joint. Sinister? Honestly, I'm assuming they're sinister because they look so normal. Whew. He's meeting ordinary people, and then if he's he's so ordinary, then why is he worth tracking? He's too ordinary. Suspiciously ordinary. Unusually ordinary. 9-11 ordinary. If you think about it, that makes him extraordinary. Sorry for that notification that popped up there. And that's not even kind of the stuff that makes him weird. Example. Consider his name. Albatross. He's oddly similar, similar to the name of a student who graduated last year, Agent Albatross. I guess that's suspicious. But I mean, sometimes names sound similar, like Tim or Jim. The most logical conclusion we can draw is that Albatross is a secret agent of the big crazy conspiracy. Probably the top agent. Maybe the king of the conspiracy. Wouldn't the most logical conclusion be that there isn't a conspiracy? You know? Like, at all? Ha! You and I must have very different interpretation of the word logical. Yeah, I think we do. You know, I've been thinking, there might be better use of your life than chasing conspiracies like this. Like what? You've got other interests, right? I like tracking people's movements. Uh, hmm. Something else? Something less creepy, maybe? How about going through the garbage? How is that less creepy? No. Just no. I really enjoy determining the strengths and weaknesses of everyone I meet to better fit them into the complicated web of conspiracies that make up the great big conspiracy. You can't use literally the thing I'm trying to get you to stop doing as an alternative hobby for the thing I'm trying to get you to stop doing. Well, that's all I got. I can't be all there is to this guy. Can it? Oh, wait. I almost forgot. Finally. Yeah, what is it? I like doing stuff as totally fast as possible. It's the most efficient use of our limited time here in this world. That's... Is that weird? I mean, it's totally weird, but he's kind of not wrong about it. But, no, it's totally weird to be thinking about it all the time. Is that really all there is to Richard? Just being weird and paranoid and good-looking? Wait, did I have to think good-looking? Get it together, Darren. Well, there's the cooking. I'd say I'm they say I'm pretty good at it, but I don't know. Cooking, huh? Yeah, it's definitely productive and not weird. Comes pretty natural, I guess. My first day at home ec, I figured out how to make a three minute egg in 45 seconds. That's an A rank on the time trial. I'm gonna go for S rank next. These must be culinary terms. You could maybe try to cook like, um, normal? Like, you don't have to rush around at full speed and high alert all the time. Hmm? Yeah, uh, cooking is okay. I guess. 
If you're to prepare your food while under the oppressive thumb of a massive shadow government operating through an even shadowier puppet master, then yeah, sure. Cooking is great. And Albatross is part of this thing? Checking the thing, sorry. A huge part. Okay, uh, which part though? The shadow government or the shadowier puppet thing? Let me come back check. There we go. There we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry, things going on. Part of my PAX prep for next week. All right. Um, doo -doo -doo. that's what we're here to find out. Ah, he's here. Okay, okay. Act natural. Got it. But don't look like you're acting natural. Wait, how else would I act? Now that I think about it, acting, and I, now that I'm thinking about acting natural, everything I think and do feels way unnatural. Ah! Ah! Something wrong, Darren? You're acting strange. I was acting natural until you said to act natural. Now I don't know how to act. Hmm. Hold on. Now that you've got me thinking about it, I can't act natural either. Oh, did I screw up the whole thing before it even started? Okay, deep breaths. <sighs> Acting natural is just kind of timing. We can do this, Darren, using total concentration. Just follow my lead. Okay. Uh, he's not doing anything. Wait, maybe that's what acting natural looks like. I can do that. Oh man, gotta concentrate. That's all I can think about. I'm just acting so natural right now. Hey, guys. Acting natural, I see. Nope. Wait, yes. How could he tell? Wait, we're not on trial here. You are. For flag with truancy and the act of conspiring to do stuff, bad stuff. Truant? Oh, you must have me confused for someone else entirely. Someone else? You know, just some kid who goes to your high school and probably looks just like me. He sounds handsome, but it's not me. He ups about the guy entirely, a cool guy who graduated last year. Hmm, well, there were students last year, and some of them must have graduated. Is it possible I started tailing the wrong person? Yeah, so anyway, I should probably leave this kid alone. G leave that, you should probably leave that kid alone. He keeps busy enough with his good looks and immaculate fashion sense to have to worry about you guys following him around. Uh, whoever he is. See ya. Oh, what's up, Roddy Cashier? Yes, this is the game that she'll be playing next. Um, I don't know what character she's going to pick, but there's a whole sh a bunch of them. I'm trying to wrap up the ones I didn't get to when I played it. What a strange coincidence. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that Namco High is full of surprises. Uh, where did Richard get off to? It's like he disappeared. Shouldn't you be in school? Ah! I can't believe we risked even more detention on a wild goose chase. Well, Richard won't get caught, I guess. Where'd he get off to? Sitting there and thinking about your thoughts won't get you in any less trouble. I love Richard! Oh, God, he's the best creeper. Ah, oh, there's Richard. He's hiding behind a crate. No sense in getting both of us in trouble. Hmm. Maybe acting natural will get me out of this jam. Nice try. You think you're the first kid to pull the old act natural trick? You're about as natural as a tree. But, um, trees are natural. Not on Namco Moon, which is where I was thinking of. You didn't know about that part of it. Dun, dun, dun. But you will soon enough. Know about the moon, I mean, because I'm extending, I'm sending you to extreme lunar dark side detention. Huh? It's a project I'm working on with Tomari. Well, he's building a rocket in his spare time, and I have plans. Well, anyway, you got me. I guess you'd take me away. Uh, and quickly. Because it's not like there's anyone else from Namco High here with me. Well, that's just what I'll do. Dig Dug's the principal, by the way, cashier. You can't date him either. And King is the vice principal. You can't date him either. Seems like all your riffraff riff decided to show. Admirable. But King insists it doesn't excuse any of your miscreant behavior yesterday. I'm giving you another chance to accept your punishment. See you at the bell. 
Wonder if anyone else got in trouble yesterday. Let's see if uh, Richard got away. Got it. Oh, I love Richard. This shit right here. It's the best. Uh, I gotta talk to Richard about what happened. Hmm, except, where's he gotten off to? Oh, there. Man, I see you back there. Oh, did you? Me, little buddy. What happened to the cafe? You let me get caught. And you let me get away. Well, yes, I did. I just didn't see why we should both get in trouble. Why did you let me get caught? It was amazing reflexes, Darren. I'd acted without realizing it. That's the curse of this supernatural sense of timing I've been blessed with. No, cursed with. Richard, you gotta slow down. And also calm down. A lot. So you're going through life permanently stuck in Turbo Boost. I don't know what Richard's from, actually. I forgot. This is about two-thirds of the way through the playthrough. The playthroughs are short. I'm skipping all the extra dialogue because a lot of it is repetitive. All that really changes is the individual trees. It's not like a stat-based one, like Nicole or anything. It's just follow one person and you'll get their storyline is what it's all about. So, I will look up Richard Miller. Richard... I think he's from a racing game. Of some sort. Because he's always talking about time. Oh, he's from Time Crisis. Well, that makes perfect sense. There you go. Even though that's really not that much about timing. That's kind of a... They seem to have taken some liberties. That's more about shooting things. It's just... Life's so short. Yeah, but you've got to slow down to live it. I mean, you have to finish the levels in time, so I kind of get it. Alright, and... Is there a second thing? Sometimes there's a bit of a follow-up. I need you to consider all this evidence. Okay, wait for detention to end. Just gonna get out of here. I don't think any of us are ever getting out of here. I'm pleasantly surprised you're all still here. But King wants me to remind you that you, we are not surprised we are, you're still delinquent. See you at the bell. Another day in the weirdest school and the weirdest detention ever. I wonder how the others are doing. Uh, so, uh, so are you ready to take time to smell the roses for once? I never thought of it like that before. You're right, Darren. I'll make it up to you, I swear. Let him make it up to me. I'm going to regret this, but maybe I finally got through to him. Guess there's only one way to find out. Richard left me a series of ingenious clues to decipher where to go for the apology. Like some sort of super conspiracy puzzle that I had to unravel. And okay, it's kind of fun to work it out. But still, we're going to have to work on this his whole conspiratorial thing. I wonder where he is. I'd be worried about being in the wrong place, except he texted me earlier to make sure I figured out the clues right. And okay, it's a really nice spot. Great view. It could even be romantic, but where is he? Darren? Ah, there you are. I'm starting to wonder. Yeah, I was setting up everything. You'll love it. Oh, I g oh the crosshairs on his belt buckler. Uh, uh, not the time crisis as well. I should have caught that. Uh, like a dozen people, di pictures of different people with some of them circled and others crossed out, and with random news articles tacked up and lengths of string tying it all together? Is it? Ha ha, no, but I don't blame you for thinking that. Come on, it's just over here. But you should close your eyes. Okay. Okay. Did it break? Oh, there we go. Open them up. I had to click the... I forgot sometimes you have to click the uh, image and not the uh, text because inconsistencies. I've run into that with two games recently. I was doing some uh, recording for YouTube last night. There was another game that had the similar problem. It was like presented like a cartoon, like a comic book, and it, you click the frames to advance. But sometimes you have to click the text to advance. I'm like, make up your mind. Anyway. Open them up. Ah, it's a picnic. But the biggest and fanciest picnic ever. A feast. Richard, what? What is all of this? 
It's for you, is what it is. I... I don't understand. I wanted to apologize for screwing up earlier. Way to Darren's heart is through a whole lot of eating. And to show you... And to show you I can slow down and appreciate life. There's so much to choose from, I don't know where to begin. Take your time, I'm in no rush. That's a lie. Who are you and what have you done with Richard Miller? Ha, yeah, yeah. I have not played Nicole Arati Cash here. I deserve that one. Maybe not. I, I didn't really do the dating sim thing that much. I knew of, of a few weird ones. That's why I had a few to tell her about. I didn't tell her about Nicole. She found that on her own. Um, but uh, I played this for Valentine's Day this past year. And the year before that, I played Hot Hopeful Boyfriend, the pigeon one. So I knew about those, and that's about it. I know about... Well, the other one I knew about was Katawa Shoujo. Uh, to any extent, although I, never, I didn't get far in that one. And it's too hot for Twitch anyway. I'm probably going to do it for YouTube and just censor some parts out. <clears throat> Maybe not. All right. You're really making an effort to turn over a new leaf. It's nice. Also, all this food is making me hungry. I want to start with these things. Ah, the profiteroles. Nice choice. Let's dig in. Don't know if... There's not probably... I don't know how many people here know what profiteroles are. I honestly... I don't know what technically qualifies something as a profiterole. I know it's an appetizer. But... Yeah. I also misspelled it a few times. I thought it was profita with an A space rolls. Like bread. Because I'm dumb. Wow, these are really good. Richard's really got something with this cooking of his. I wonder if it's his intensity about it that makes his... Dish is so good. And it's certainly more constructive use of his energy than chasing conspiracies all the time. Wait, what's he... Uh, Richard? Yeah? What are you, um... Doing? Hmm, I'm enjoying a delicious pastry. Are you? Because this all hasn't gotten to your mouth. Looks like you're moving in slow motion, actually. Well, if I'm going to slow down enough to enjoy life, then I'm going to have to do it as hard as possible. Oh, it's almost painful. But I could go even slower. Yep. There's that weird intensity again. Uh, you don't have to do everything at 100%, you know? But I do. What's the point of doing something if you aren't going to slow, uh, do it all the way? You said I should relax, slow down, and enjoy life. So I'm giving it a shot. To the max. I don't think that's how it works, though. Are you... You're existing as intensely as you can right now, aren't you? No. Dang it, Richard. You're hopeless. Alright. Why is our face so mad? Pac-Man? How long have you been here? Long enough to eat most of the international section. How big is this feast, anyway? Well, not nearly as big as it was before I walked by. On an unrelated note, I couldn't help but overhear your troubles. My advice is to be true to yourself. Really? Sure. So, I should keep being crazy and intense about everything all the time? What? No, that can't be right. Hmm, yeah, I have to agree with Darren on that one. It doesn't feel like that solution to being too weird should be to double down on weirdness. Darn, that true-to-yourself stuff worked great for all those other kids. Maybe what it means is that... Oh, no, I skipped it. But maybe also that to be truly true to yourself, um, to the maximum degree possible, means doing it without trying so hard to do it. Sorry, I skipped that. I get it now. Yeah! Being true to myself means just being me. I need to do everything like I'm racing against the clock. I could just, like, do stuff. Yeah. My work here is done. Oh, Richard, I'm so happy you get it. You finally get it. Not to, not to change the subject, but, uh, where did the food get off to? Where indeed...
everyone seems on edge today. Feels like something's gonna happen. Uh. Students, I have dire news. Pac-Man has been kidnapped by Evil Namco High. The revelation is like a jackhammer, cracking my heart open like a geode of despair. The very thought of someone could that someone could kidnap Cat Pac-Man, my friend and our beloved. Mm, what does he do here anyway? It doesn't matter. We've all wondered about that, but you're getting off topic. We have to rescue him. If only we could ask, access the high-security high confiscatorium where all our special items are locked up. I have the combination right here, students. Because it's king! Fair enough. Go for it, students. Save Pac-Man. His fate lies in your hands. Okay, who got a count on save Pac-Man? Oh, you know. You know. We've got to rescue Pac-Man from, from back from Evil Namco High. I ain't calculate the longer we wait, the more dire the situation will become. We should rush him head on. They'll never expect it, and we may just take him by surprise. Damn it. Why do you have to come back, Tyra? Why? I don't know what brains for brains and Dinky Bird Kid are talking about, but I know we're doomed. Wait. Rushing into action will only lead to chaos. We must assess the situation and act accordingly. Is Richard actually pausing for thought and taking his time? The details of enemy forces are sketchy at best. We've no way of knowing their capabilities or defenses. Not so. I think you'll find my crazy conspiracy theorizing bore unexpected fruits. Behold my collection of dossiers. Including... And this is the most important part, an up-to-date list of all evil Namco High students as well as their student strengths and weaknesses. With this information, our victory is assured! Rushing into the fray without it would have gotten us all beat up pretty bad. Richard, this is exactly what we were talking about. You mean how rude it was of Pac-Man to eat my grand romantic gesture of a picnic? No, but yeah, it totally was. But, I mean, the other thing, when Pac-Man helped us to learn about being true to ourselves. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Now let's go re at reasonable speed and get Pac-Man back. Of course we team up with Richard. Yeah, prudent action and planning are awesome! I still love the, like, the three generic students that were in this area. They only pop up in like one or two storylines where they actually made evil versions of them. Uh, a rotting ca uh, cashier. I did the entire entire Tyra playthrough already. Uh, it's on my YouTube, actually. Uh, I have it. I have. There's a playlist for Namco High on there. I will uh, link that in chat. That one's kind of. It's actually a longer one. I like. I was basically pounding water for two thirds of it because my throat was getting torn apart. But I got through it. And it's about an hour. If you have the time. Just because he's got more of a backstory. And they have to explain more of him because he was never in anything that came out in America. That I know of. Um, Thank you, students, for saving me. I thought I was a goner. Thank you, Pac-Man. We were only able to do it because we were true to ourselves. It's kind of a lame outro. I still love this song, though. But yeah, if you just hit up the playlist section there, it'll be in there somewhere. I'll be, and I'll be adding tonight's playthroughs to that probably some by the end of the week. The voices are uh, for some characters are a little inconsistent because. I, uh, know nothing. Who did, uh, oh yeah, who drew, uh, Richard Miller? I didn't see him. Damn it. Next time we roll credits, I will check.
And actually, one of the artists listed, Omocat, I will be playing a game that, uh, I, I forgot to say he or she, but I'm playing a game that Omocat's making called uh, Omori. Uh, it's like a weird kind of horror Earthbound, and I backed it on Kickstarter, so whenever it comes out, that's probably not going to be... Uh, that's going to be a little while before that comes out, but the second it does, it's happening. Uh, I usually stream for three to four hours. Depends on the night, depends if I still have work to finish. I did get all the stuff I wanted to uh, process done tonight, and I only have a, like three or four more demos to play through for recording tonight. I need to start a new ClickCraft series, uh, Point and Click Adventures. I do those on the YouTube instead of here because they take forever. Uh, but... I will, I'm in no hurry, and right now Ferguson has not erupted into violence again to piss me off, so, so far so good. It's actually not blowing up all over my Twitter at all. There are protesters in town though, so, I'm not sure. how the cops are going to handle it. That is awesome. I'm actually going to print screen that. I bet he's basically wearing like a like a, a laser... Oh, they're playing laser tag. That makes even more sense. And I uh, brought his own... Kata, brought the Katamari as cover to laser tag? That's just cheap. Although, it looks like they're on the same team. Their guns are the same color. But, yeah. Let me hit that again. I love Richard Miller. I, also play, I like Time Crisis. So. Uh, I do not live around there, but it's just such a nightmare that it's... I, I cannot turn away from there. Like, the past few nights, I just have not been able to get to sleep before 4 or 5, because something goes to shit, and I start paying attention to it. 